Hello everyone, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much. Love having you guys here. Today, we're going to skip the spirit box though, and we're just gonna talk about a really, really haunted doll. Now, in a little bit, you'll realize after we go through the story, why we're not doing a spirit box here in my office, because um, I don't invite things like that in my office. And I think this doll is really, really creepy, and who knows what it has in it. Tonight, we're gonna do a fun ghost story instead. We are going to talk about my little friend here, Robert the Doll. Now, this is not the real Robert, unfortunately. That would be so cool if he was here. Well, um, I hear he has a tendency to trash things, so I guess that would not be good. And I also hear he has a tendency to make cameras not work, so that would also not be good. But this is, if you go to the museum where the real haunted Robert is located at, if you go to the museum, or even if you can't go to the museum, it's actually in Key West, Florida. If you go to their website, then you can get yourself a little Robert the doll. And isn't he cute? He's in a little sailor suit. He has his little toy with him. He's just adorable. I just, I love little Robert. So this is my boy. He hangs out with my other haunted dolls. Although unfortunately, since I got him, he is not haunted. Let's get into the story of what makes Robert what I think the most haunted doll in at least the United States. I'm sure there's others around the world. I would love to hear about some. If you know some really good like haunted doll stories, make sure you leave like a comment down below and let me know about that because I would love to check into some and maybe we can do the background and the research and the story that goes along with that doll. I would really love to hear about all that. But let's talk today about Robert. In 1900, down in Key West, Florida, there was a little boy who was born and his name was Robert Eugene Otto. His parents called him Gene. Now his parents were very affluent people. They had a lot of wealth, they had a lot of servants in their house, but they were horrible people. They treated their servants terribly. So the servants decided that when Gene was four years old, they would get back at the parents by giving Gene, little four-year-old Gene, a 40-inch doll named Robert. Now, right now you can see that Robert, this Robert, who's a replica of the big one, but he is wearing a sailor suit. Gene actually gave him a sailor suit, one of his own sailor suits, and he wore it. And that's what he's still wearing today at the museum. And Gene gave him a little stuffed animal to play with. And Gene loved this doll so much. Gene took Robert everywhere. Gene would even set him a place at the table. Gene always was talking to Robert and really, really, really loved Robert. In fact, Jean named Robert, Robert, because Robert is Jean's first name. Robert was truly Jean's best friend. So like I mentioned, Robert was Jean's best friend and Jean would spend hours and hours and hours just talking to Robert. And the parents used to think that was so cute because they would overhear their son talking to this doll and they would hear a second voice coming out of the room which is a little strange. I think I would be throwing the doll out at that point if it were my kid, but they just thought, oh, it's just Gene and he's just making a second voice for Robert. Until one night, the parents were asleep, Gene was supposed to be asleep, and then the parents hear crashes and bangs and booms and wake up and fly out of the bed, only to find that Gene's door is locked. When the mom finally is able to get the door open, she goes in there and she sees Jean just in a little shaken mess sitting on his bed, worried and freaking out, and Robert also sitting on the bed. And the only thing that Jean could say was Robert did it. Now, I don't know about you, but if one of my kids' toys or anything tore up a room like that, I think I would be getting rid of that doll. If my kid is that scared of a toy, I think I'd be getting rid of that doll. But they did not get rid of that doll. Nope, they kept listening to their son talk to the doll, a different voice coming out of the doll. They decided one day that they would peek in on their son talking to Robert. And turns out, Gene wasn't making the second voice. Robert was. They actually had reported seeing Robert's facial expressions change. They reported seeing Robert go around the house. And instead of getting rid of Robert the doll, because at that point, I think I would be getting rid of the doll. Um, I would go out and I would buy my kid another doll and that one would be as far away as I could possibly take it. But no, 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 no. Instead of getting rid of the doll, they actually 
exile the doll up into the attic. Okay? I don't know why. Why would you keep that thing in your house at that point? I would 100% get rid of that doll. That doll's not walking around my house. But anyway, not his parents. Even after they saw everything that they witnessed with Robert the doll, they decided, oh no, we'll just keep him. We'll just put him in the attic. It'll be okay. I did find something really strange that I thought you guys might want to know. So it's said that the night that Robert the doll was actually banished to the attic, that Jean's aunt died that night. It's also said that right after that, that Jean's mom went crazy. His parents, they pass away. And Gene is an adult now, and he has grown up to be quite the famous local artist. He gets married to a lady named Anne. They move back into his parents' house that he inherited, and Gene wants Robert to stay in the bedroom with them, which is fine, on a rocking chair by the window. Anne is completely creeped out by this doll. She doesn't want this doll in the room at all. She doesn't want the doll really in the house. But she again banishes Robert back up to the attic which was okay with Gene at the time because there was a window in the attic that he loved to stare out while he was doing his artwork. So he had really set up the attic into like a special artist loft up there. And so having Robert up there was perfect for him. He could sit all day long and talk to Robert and work on his art. But when he was done with Robert, he would actually lock the door behind him, lock the attic door behind him so that just in case Robert wouldn't, you know, come downstairs or anything. But People reported hearing Robert moving around, kids giggling, just stomping coming from the attic, all kinds of creepy stuff. And then what started to really creep the family out was the neighbor kids actually said that they would see Robert sitting in the rocking chair in that bedroom that he was somehow getting out of the attic and they would walk by the house and Robert would actually mock them and that he would move back and forth across the window and that the neighbor kids would see him. So Jean found, went and looked for Robert and sure enough, Robert was in the chair sitting in the window. And so he went up, he put him in the attic, locked him away in the attic. Sure enough, came back. Robert's back in the chair, sitting in the window. Really creepy. No one knows how Robert was getting out of the, the attic. Anyway, that continued and I guess Jean was okay with it. I don't know. These people must be just crazy because I would not be okay with that. If I have a doll and it's getting out of my locked attic, walking downstairs and going into my bedroom and sitting in a chair by the window and taunting the neighbor kids, whew, too much for me. It, it would be in the trash, in someone else's trash, not my trash. That's just too close to the house. <laughs> but Jean kept it. Jean kept the doll until he died in 1974. And his wife, Anne, like I said, she did not like Robert at all. Well, she sold the house with Robert locked in the attic. So she sold the house to a lady named Myrtle Reuter. And Myrtle loved this little doll. Like really, really loved this doll. Myrtle actually kept this little doll for 20 years until 1994. You want to know why she finally got rid of him after 20 years? Because for 20 years he had been scaring they're her friends to death. Her friends would come over to visit her and they would see Robert walking around or moving from one chair to another or they would see his facial expressions change. They would hear kids giggling when there were no kids around and yet she was okay with that for 20 years. So, um, I got nothing. I got nothing. But in 1994, he was donated to the museum. He is still at that museum today and it is the fort. East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. And you can still go see him today. However, a word of caution if you want to go see Robert. Once the museum got him, at first they weren't even going to display him until people were heard the stories and were showing up to see him. Then they did display him, but bad things started happening. The staff would hear things going around crazy at the museum, like things moving around. They would hear children giggling even though the museum was closed. So they finally put Robert where he is now, in his very own room with a huge glass case. So Robert is in this room with this huge glass case. And you might think, okay, well, everything is okay now that he's in a case. No, no, everything's not okay. This is not Annabelle. She sits in her case and she behaves. I understand a priest comes in once a week to bless her, but this is not Annabelle. Robert. He has been known to actually 
put his hands on the glass in the case. He has been known to move around inside of his case. He changes positions in his case. There's still giggles in the museum. All this creepy stuff is going on. And one thing that you have to be very careful of when you go to visit Robert is you mustn't take a picture of Robert with any camera before you ask permission. Behind Robert's case is an entire wall filled with letters and they receive letters still to this day and every day they say from people that went to go visit Robert and they disrespected him or they didn't ask him first if it was okay for his picture to be taken and horrible things have happened and I'm talking death, disease, divorce, car accidents and so these people have written letters Hundreds and hundreds of people have written letters begging, begging for Robert's forgiveness for what that they did, whether they just took a picture of him or whether they mocked him or taunted him. But all of this has happened and all these people have reported this. So I don't know. What do you think about Robert the doll? Who's your favorite haunted doll? Let me know in the comments below. Hope everyone's doing okay. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna have a lot of more paranormal and spirit boxes and true crime stuff coming your way very soon. I love y'all. I hope you are doing great. Talk to you soon. Bye.